Hey YouTube, today I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of a Rolex wall clock that I got as a birthday gift a little while ago and I did a video on it and got a ton of questions on it. I even promoted the guy that sold the clock to the person that got this for me as a gift on the YouTube channel, put a link to his online store and the, the online store went out of business. Nothing I can do about it, folks. I know the guy was very honest with me, well, with the person that bought it for me, and it was a very pleasant and easy transaction, and I don't know what happened, but it was a very, very honest person. But anyway, I got tons of questions on this thing, and I seem to get them every single day, and I didn't know that there'd be this much interest in it, so <clears throat> I'm going to show this clock side by side with an authentic Rolex Mariner. So this clock is made out of stainless steel and on the back of it, I'm gonna show you up close here, this is a quartz movement and it says this is a dealer display sample. I do not know anything about the little movement in it or anything like that, but it does say Rolex and it says it's the dealer display. And on the front of it, what amazes me is the second hand sweeps on a quartz movement and that absolutely is amazing and if you look here it's got a cyclops on it that actually magnifies the date if you look underneath it's smaller and it does magnify it all of these numbers here all the numerals all have lumen in it it actually glows in the dark and so there's a little quote unquote pearl on top. This thing's all made out of stainless steel. If you look real close at the detail on it, all the numerals have the silver border around them. All the hands have them like that. And I'm gonna show you the font and everything next to a real authentic Submariner. This is a 116610 Submariner. It has a Cyclops on it. And as you can see, it magnifies the date also. All the numerals have a border around them. Now these are made out of platinum on a real Rolex watch. The pearl up here at the top actually glows in the dark. So there's all the numerals and everything. But if you look real close at this font, very close, and then compare it once again to the font on this clock, it's very, very awesome looking. Everything is 100% correct looking to me on this. And I'm not a Rolex wall clock expert. I know a lot about the watches, but I don't know a lot about them, about the clocks. But I just wanted to show you all how awesome this thing is and how it'd be a great conversation piece to put like in your home or in your office or man cave or whatever whatever you want to use it for but it's really cool to have a unclock if you're really into rolex watches and stuff like that and this is the watch that i wear almost every single day of my life and to have a clock that looks exactly like it hanging in my office is really neat but i want to show you a little side by side and see if anybody's interested in seeing how close these things look side by side but Here's a real close up of the Rolex Mariner watch and there is the clock. So it, it's it's pretty close folks. It's a pretty neat little item to have. People people ask about it. Every single person that walks into my office says, oh neat, where'd you get that clock? And I tell them, I tell them it was an online thing and it was a gift. Anyway folks, anybody have any questions about it? I have a video going in depth about this clock to the best of my knowledge, and I have videos on the Rolex and Mariner watch. But anyway, folks, have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'll answer any questions that you have. If I don't know the answer, I'll do my best to find them. And thank you very much for watching this little short side-by-side -side comparison video today, folks. And you folks have a great day.